Hey, hey, thank you for watching my channel. I am The Divine Maverick, also known as the mother of twins, helping you along your twin flame journey. Thank you so much for being here. All my returning subscribers, all the new subscribers, Patreon, Sunflowers and Mavericks, I love everybody everywhere you are. I hope you get something that you can use. I hope you get something that will heal you and send you on a journey of... Uh, ascension, even at a greater level. This message is going to be so, so powerful. And there's going to be a meditation at the end. So watch to the end or stay to the end. Hopefully uh, you'll do that. Um, it's going to come from the Sacred Rebels Oracle deck. It's Alana Fairchild. And that's the deck I'm using. It's guidance for living a unique and authentic life. If you don't have this deck, you need this to be a part of your arsenal. Okay. But, um, it, we pulled the card receiving because I had to meditate in the energy and I was guided to pull a card to start us as a theme. But the title of this message for you today, the message that spirit is, is, is giving you is you have not asked for anything too hard. There is a backstory to this title in that I was encouraging, uh, someone to, to keep going because they were like, you know, sometimes that, that mind, you like, you see the vision, you know what you want to do, you know where you're going, you know how to get there, you, you feel like you can, but then your mind will, 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 will change up on you, your mind will play tricks on you. That's what they said. And I said, well, you know, I just, and I just go into whatever flowed through me. I was just channel. I was just, you know, uh, but I know it was like a lot of light and a lot of compassion and a lot of encouragement, a lot of fire, because you've probably been feeling heated. You've probably been feeling, now that's anger as well as literally physical heat because your Kundalini is rising. That divine feminine power is like, is, is at its peak. It's, it's ultimate power. Maximum power. I'm hearing uh, power of attorney. I just heard that random, but it's somebody message. But anyway, the card we pulled is card number 27. I could just stop right there and just throw everything away, right? 27, nine, seriously, nine, nine. That, what is that maximum power at the end? Nine is an end of a cycle. Nine is also a number about karma or, or, or that, that contains karma. And so it's about receiving. I thought I saw music notes for a second. It like music notes was around this woman's head. If you kind of glance at it, somebody might have a tattoo with that kind of design because that design is kind of doing something. You could be an air sign. You could be an earth sign. You could be a water sign. You could be every sign because I'm every woman. <laughs> anyway, the card is receiving. I'm going to read this message to you um, and then we're going to get into what we're getting into. But listen, I want to say to you anything, doesn't matter what it is. Whatever, whatever it is, love, money, children, uh, fame, uh, seclusion. Watch this. Somebody's like, I don't want to be famous. I want to, I want to go underground. Come through underground indie artists, individuals, uniquely gifted and talented. You know what I'm saying? Anything that, that you want, you can have. You are, you are the prophet of your life. You are the one that has the, you are the one that has the final say. You're not just a rebel out here. You're not just a lone ranger out here. Sort of, kind of, but not really because you actually answer to, to the, the intuition that is connected to spirit, to the great mind. You have access to the great mind, the mind that that minds all things. China, if you snore on this video right here, as good as good as I'm talking right now, and you snoring, Shama, there's some retabasha. Some listen, awake, O Zion, girl. <laughs> listen, <laughs> oh, gosh. I, listen, God, is that too hard? Is it too hard to ask you to ask China to stop snoring? Is that too hard? Anyway, I hope I didn't lose anybody with the comedy because uh, y'all know I got jokes. Well, they have jokes. It's not really me. I'm just a messenger. See, I put it on them. But because uh, you're going to miss something. If you listen, some of y'all got a messenger that you don't, there's something about them that, that irks you or bothers you about them. Let me tell you right now, I'm about to bless you and I'm about to heal you right now. You're about to get free right now. But the reason why you don't like that person, they irk you is because that's something that's in you. You see it and you, it's like you despise it in them. Oh, I said it. Yet there, you despise it in them. She ain't talk too much. She, he do that. I don't like when he, eh. Listen, I know you woke and I know you're highly elevated and all that and you healed a lot and uh, you all that but i'm saying listen that's the message that's the message I li that's the message baby because that thing is in you that you see in them that's in you all right so some of y'all are, are frustrated singers frustrated comedians frustrated seamstresses somebody you know you want to sew 
You know, that's S-E-W and S-O-W. You know that some people have been blessing your life and you want to be able to give back, but you are so worried about that receiving. You don't want to, yeah, I don't want to, oh, I don't want to ask them what their favorite thing is. And I don't want to let them know what I'm doing. And, and, that, and, and that and such and thus. And, and Spirit is saying, you haven't asked for anything too hard. You haven't asked, you, you haven't asked for anything. You, what you, some of y'all are just like, I'm just asking for the basics. And you're done, you're not, you're, we're not basic. I just heard basic bitch. I, I, I had to say it because I heard it. I was trying to fight with my spirit. Did y'all hear that? Rewind the video back. I'm like fighting. I don't want to say that. They're like, say it. You know what I mean? Be obedient. Be obedient. Be obedient. You haven't asked for anything too hard. You want to be obedient. Just say, I'm just, shh. you want to, you want to just be right. You know, I just want to be right. You know. I, I gotta just stay right here in this this spot. This is comfortable for me. This comfort zone. This right here is comfortable for me. That over there, that unknown. Uh, that's 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 something different. Let's get to the message. You haven't asked for anything too hard. You are so loved. Your every need is witnessed and responded to by the universe. Look at the card. However, you sometimes forget this. You become swept up in the momentum of habitual consciousness. And you forget to take a moment to stop and breathe and be. In that moment, you can receive the love of the universe that is receiving you. It will nourish you with contentment and energy. You have not done this enough, so your soul is becoming parched and is drying out. Energy has been going out of you, but there is not enough coming back in. It is time to bring something back in for you. To be received and to receive. You are being offered a chance for restoration now to feel nourished, cared for, and loved. Accept it. You deserve it. There's a healing process below that we're going to do at the end of the video, you guys. And it's going to help us to surrender any guilt or shame that we might feel for having our needs or having needs in the first place. Some of y'all are feeling guilty because you have needs. Baby, I need to see you. Baby, I need, I need to hear from you. To the kids, I just when I just need... 10 minutes in this bathtub. Just I, I just need 10 minutes, please. You're, you're guilty. You feel ashamed that, that, you get, that you're tired, that you become frustrated sometimes, that you feel unsupported, that you do. Yeah, sometimes I do feel like I lack. Sometimes I do feel like I, 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 I don't have, you know, the, there it is again, basics. I'm not, I'm not a basic bitch, so why am I getting basics, bitch? But it says, do you know how much joy the universe gains from being able to give to you? When you delight in what you receive, when you openly embrace a gift and are so happy with it, the universe is fully received by you. In this space, there is joyful communion between you and life. Energy flows more freely and magic happens. When you demure saying you cannot accept that it is too great a gift or that you are not worthy, you are impeding that flow. You are inhibiting the communion, the connection, the playful interaction between you and the universe. Enough with the false modesty and guilt. Whoosh, Mandea. You are a radiant sun in human clothing. An exquisite life experience is your birthright. Enjoy it. Soak it up. All of it, including the restoration of sacred rest. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about rest in one second, but I want to just go back to you are a radiant sun in human clothing and exquisite life experience is your birthright. In other words, an exquisite life experience is your birthright. Wealth is your birthright. That's going to be my next title because I've already, I was already given that title in meditation. And here we're pulling the card receiving. See, that's the thing. Don't have guilt or shame about having needs and also having a desire to have your needs fully met, not kind of met, but full. you fully, somebody needs to put in the comment section. I fully expect Isha, my needs to be met. Or you could just put, I fully expect dot, dot, dot. You my shanda da basaya. You know what I mean? I, that means I fully expect everything to turn around in my favor. I fully expect, not even at the midnight hour, I fully expect at about 9.30 p.m. And some of y'all need 6.30 p.m. because you go to bed early. But you fully expect to have that thing resolved. 
You fully expect to have that strategy. And I was saying to the person that I was encouraging, you have every, anything you have ever asked for, it's not too hard. You are God. You are divine. You are a, a, the sunshine in human form. You are a God. You are a luminary. You are illuminated and you are luminous. So you haven't asked for anything that's too hard for you. Is there anything too hard for you? If you believe it, oof, mind that, you can have it. Now let's talk about rest because this might be some of, you, some of the blocks that you maybe have been encountering. Let's talk about that. I might not get to any of these cards, y'all. Yeah, I probably won't. I probably pull two affirmations. But anyway, it says, or none of them. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. That ju This just in. We're going to do the meditation and then or the exercise, the healing process, and, or, and then we're going to get off of here. That's what we're going to do. I love you. Now, rest. Let's talk about this. Including, so you, you deserve a life that is exquisite. It's your birthright. Soak it up. All of it, including the restoration of sacred rest. From that place of nourishment, you will more effortlessly create and live and love with greater energy and thriving and pulsing passion from a place of nourishment. That's how you get motivated. That's how you create with, with, with uh, effortlessly, with, with minimal effort. You, it just pours out of you. You're not asking for anything that's too hard. You just need to rest. You need to rest in that fact that you have not asked for anything too hard so you can have anything and everything that's available to you because an exquisite life is your birthright. And then there is the rest of literally physically sitting down and being still. Patience. Let patience have her perfect work. Sitting down, being still, waiting for things to unfold, waiting for things to unfold naturally, waiting for things to be revealed, waiting for puzzles to come together, waiting for the missing pieces to find their way home, waiting for connections, waiting for communication. In, in a place of rest, you are getting so much done because you're giving your soul a chance to breathe. Abba Shaya. So it says, the earth rests each night so it can greet the sun again each morning with the spectacular living art of sunrise. I just saw that picture, the earth going to sleep at night so it can say hi as the sun does what the sun does, which is what? It creates that beautiful art of sunrise. The earth is a canvas for the sun to shine. Whoosh, manda. The earth is a canvas for the sun to shine upon. shanda. Ground yourself so that the sun has a canvas. Ground yourself so that the sun has stabilizing energy. Baby, hold on to me. That's another title that came from the same conversation I was having. I'll get to that in a moment. But ground your energy by nourishing your soul, resting your body, because that is where creativity and passion lies. That is where energy and thriving is birthed. That's where you get that pulsing passion to, to, to go for it. There's nothing that you have asked for that you want to accomplish. That's too hard for God. You are being supported by spirit. It also says, allow yourself to switch off to step away, to close the laptop, to switch off the phone and just be with yourself for a little while. You will return and be able to be more efficient and effective. Rest now, play now, and work later. Forget your worries for a while, switch off, do something else, let it all go and it will all flow. All right, y'all, let's get ready for the meditation. If you're time stamping for me, please time stamp 1357. This is the healing process that we're going to do. We're going to, um, I'm going to read it to you and we're going to say it aloud. I'm going to read it um, kind of slow, but just repeat after me. And um, then we're going to, you know, complete this healing process so that you can embody this energy of receiving. Oosh, mandala, life path nine, I just saw. So repeat after me, please. Oosh. Take, first of all, take some deep breaths in through your nose and blow it out through your mouth slowly. Just settle yourself as you were listening. Now settle yourself, especially if somebody's driving. But you're gonna have, you're gonna have to listen to this later. But say aloud with me now. I release all false guilt and shame about having needs. I release all false beliefs about rest being wasteful or unnecessary. 
I accept healthy, productive, sacred rest and the gifts of happiness that it brings. I understand that rest and activity balance, feed, and nourish each other. There is sacred healing that happens through rest, which is very powerful. I accept and receive this now through unconditional love. This is now so. Now I want you to see your inner child curled up on your lap. Visualize your inner child just kind of curled up, sitting there safe and sound, right on your lap, head on your breast, feeling nourished, feeling supported as you read this story. The great French Impressionist painter Monet sat in his garden on a warm afternoon. He was napping lightly on his garden bench with the sunlight dappling gently through the straw hat resting on his face. It was soft and warm on his closed eyelids. He sighs contentedly. A nosy neighbor poked his head over the fence, keen to know what the brilliant artist was up to now. Sir, you are resting, the curious neighbor called out. No, responded Monet, wriggling to get even more comfortable on his reclining garden chair. I am working, he relaxed further, as the mild breeze tickled hair on his forearms. Monet returned to his garden the next day. Consumed by the urge to translate his feelings onto the canvas, he painted with great energy and focus. He was inspired and the paint flowed. Again, the nosy neighbor poked his head over the fence. He called out, Sir, you are working. No, said the artist, barely pausing with his brush. I am resting. <laughs> I know y'all got that message. What looks like work is rest, but looks like rest is work. You have to balance and decide which is which. What you need at the right time. Follow your intuition. Go have a cup of tea. Go do a little dance around your living room. Go paint or relax. Go for a walk in the park. Do some window shopping. Just be, play, laugh, relax. Give yourself what you feel you need at this time. And if you aren't certain, that's fine. Guess. And the more that you often do this, I'm sorry, the more often you do this, the more skilled you will become in identifying and meeting your needs. Hey, y'all. You haven't asked for anything too hard for God. Go get it. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves and each other. Until we meet again, guys, I love you. And there's nothing you can do about it. Bye.